Hey guys, welcome back to our channel for Education Lab. Um, in today's video, we will be unlocking some more news. Sorry, in today's video, we will be unlocking some more new secrets of the chapter of physical chemistry of the concept of atomic structure. So get ready to embark on a thrilling exploration of our concept of uh, atomic structure, where we will be breaking down the core principles and discovering the wonders of the atomic structure. So before we dive into the topic, let me just show you the syllabus. So according to the syllabus, we have already covered the first three points where we discussed about the structure of atom, uh, the neutral, the subatomic particles present in, in an atom, uh, the protons, neutrons, and electrons. We also discussed about the atomic number or uh, we can say the proton number and the mass number or the nucleon number. And in today's video, we will be discussing about uh, the we will be discussing the fourth and fifth point where we will discuss about uh, the distribution of mass and charge inside an atom and also the behavior of the subatomic particles which are moving at a constant velocity in an electric field. So without wasting our precious time, let's just dive into the topic. So as you can suggest by the video's thumbnail, and the title of the video and the title of the presentation. In today's video, we will be discussing about mass, charge, and subatomic particles, which is a part of our syllabus. Let's go further. Mass and charge distribution. Now, the mass of an atom, already we know from our previous videos, uh, that the mass of an atom is concentrated in the nucleus. And why it's concentrated in the nucleus? Because the nucleus is the part which contains the heaviest subatomic particles, which are those subatomic particles, the neutrons and the protons. All right, so you can see here, the mass of the electron is negligible. Okay, uh, negligible means that the mass of the uh, electron is much smaller is it's uh, as we discussed in our previous video that it's 1836 times smaller than a proton and a neutron okay now the mass of the electron is negligible the nucleus is also positively charged due to the protons it is it is having an overall positive charge why because the nucleus contains protons and the neutrons protons are positive and the neutrons are neutral in charge. Neutral means they have zero charge, no charge. So this means overall the nucleus is having positive charge. Now the electrons, if you talk about the electrons, electrons are orbiting around the nucleus of the atom and they're contributing very little to the overall mass of the atom since they are really really tiny and really really small in mass. But these electrons, they are um, but these electrons, they are uh, really playing an important role in chemical reactions and these electrons are creating a cloud of negative charge. So the exchange of electrons is what that is taking place in chemical reaction that we'll be discussing in our upcoming videos. Now, what holds this atom together? What holds an atom together? Why an atom is so stable? It is because the electrostatic attraction between positive nucleus and the negatively charged electrons or bitting around it is what holds an atom together. Now we should understand the fact that unlike charges that are attracting each other. So you can see here that in the middle of the atom, we have a positive nucleus and the uh, electrons are orbiting around that nucleus. So what happens? This positive charge is attracting the negatively charged electrons and that is what holds an atom together now if we go further you can see here a clear picture of what those points were trying to indicate us so you can see here we have uh, an atom okay so uh, in the middle we have the nucleus of the atom in which the mass of the atom is concentrated which is which contains the protons and neutrons so you can see here that the nucleus is where the mass of the atom is concentrated and it is made up of protons which are positively charged and neutrons that are neutral in charge overall the charge of the nucleus is positive 
Now, this is the orbit of electron, the path the electron takes, and it's there. The electrons are moving very randomly, very swiftly, and in random directions. Now, uh, the electrons they are negatively charged, as we know. Already, we know that the negative electrons and positively charged nucleus are attracted to each other by electrostatic force of attraction. Now, let's see this point as well. The mass of the atom is concentrated in the positively charged nucleus, which is attracted to the negatively charged electrons orbiting around it, and that is what holding the atom together. Let's go further. Now, how the subatomic particles behave when we place these subatomic particles in an electric field. Subatomic particles, we are talking about protons, neutrons, and electrons. So what happens here? Now, protons, neutrons, and electrons, they behave differently in a different manner when they are moving at a constant velocity in an electric field. So what happens? When a beam of electrons is fired past the electrically charged plates, when a beam of electrons is ejected past the electrically charged plates, that is where the electric field is being created uh, between the positive plate and the negative plate, the electrons are deflected very easily away from the negative plate towards the positive plate. Now this deflection and the term very easily, it's trying to indicate two points. The first point is that this proves that electrons are negatively charged. Why they are negatively charged? Since like charges repel each other. Now, like charges, this means negative and negative. Negative is negatively charged electrons, they are moving away from the negative plate. Basically, they are repelling the negative plate and they are moving towards the positive plate. They are being deflected towards the positive plate. This is trying to indicate that like charges are repelling each other and like charges are attracting each other. It also shows that electrons have a very small mass. Okay. And how we know it has a very small mass since they are easily deflected, very easily deflected. Let's go further. Now, a beam of protons, when it is ejected past the electrically charged plates, what happens? It is deflected away from the positive plate and towards the negative plate. Now, what does this indicate? Now, this is trying to indicate that the proton is positively charged. Since, again, the, uh, the fact comes that like charges are repelling each other and the unlike charges are attracting each other. So what happens? The positive moves away from the positive and it is being deflected towards the negative plate. Now, as protons are deflected less than the electrons, this also shows that protons are heavier than electrons. So we should understand the fact that the one that is lighter in mass, it will be deflected more compared to the one that is heavier. Okay. Now, if we talk about the uh, neutrons, now, if you fire the beam of neutrons past the electrically charged plates, um, it is not going to deflect at all. And what is the reason? Because the neutron is neutral in character. It doesn't have any charge. Equal number of positive and negative charges. So what happens? It is neutral in character. It is not attracted to or repelled by the negative or positive plates. So it moves straight through the deflection plates. Let's go to the diagram. So you can see here clearly the diagrammatic representation of the beam of particles when they are moving in an electric field. Here we have the positively charged plate. Here we have the negatively charged plate. Now, uh, these are the electrons and you can see there is too much deflection for the electrons. And why is that? Because they are very light and they are deflected very easily. But whereas we talk about uh, protons, protons are heavier than electrons and therefore they are less deflected compared to these electrons. Now, if we talk about neutrons here, neutrons are passing straight between the reflection plates, no deflection at all, since they are neutral in character and they are not being attracted, nor they are being repelled by the positive or negative plate. So the electric field is not affecting these neutrons. The lighter electrons undergo much more deflection than the protons, already discussed in these points. And that's it for today's video. Uh, Make sure you subscribe our channel, hit the like button, comment down below, press the bell icon as well and comment down below uh, that which topic, which concept you are facing difficulty in and uh, yeah, we will be, uh, we'll be clearing your doubts. And uh, one more thing I would like to tell you that uh, shortly we will be creating past paper sessions, past paper session videos where we will be explaining different questions because... Uh, on YouTube, many people are demanding for these possible questions because uh, these are the only questions that will help you uh, succeed your examination, score an A plus, or what your aim is to achieve. Uh, 
So that's it for today's video. I will be seeing. I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care and stay tuned.